Darren, a huge three points here in Woking. Just sum up how you're feeling after that, because it was a massive performance from the boys where they put everything on the line to pick up all three points. Yeah, it's a terrific away performance, isn't it? Um, had to defend with quality and needed our men out there today. I thought Ricardo and Sweens were absolutely gigantic for us tonight. Um, and Shane Elliott, don't get me wrong, but certainly the two big boys dealing with... Uh, with all the aerial balls and what have you, absolutely awesome. But as a team, we defended, worked our socks off. Some will say that's a minimum requirement, and of course it is. But to be defensively as solid as we looked and then have that sort of devastation on the counter-attack as well, I'm really pleased tonight. It's in the early stages. There are a couple of huge blocks in there from Elliot Johnson and Dan Sweeney down this end. In retrospect, how important was that phase of the game that we got through that and then we could go and build from there? Yeah, but they're, they're game-changing moments, aren't they? Like, like goals, you know, Lochi makes saves, they're game-changing moments. Last-ditch tackles, putting your head on the line and that. They're all, they're all things that we all have to do. Um, and then it's up to the boys up front when they get their game-changing moments to make the difference. And, and Mac had, you know, got his reward. And then Josh Walker's come on and got two terrific goals as well. And maybe could have had another one as well, to be fair. Um, but listen, the, the, the moments where we needed to stand up and be counted at both ends of the pitch, we stood up today. It's an obvious one, but it must be so pleasing that your goal scorers are scoring the goals for your team out there. Well, do you know what? I, I, I learned, I've learned very quickly as a manager, you know, you've, you've, you have to disappoint people and leave people out. Um, you can only pick 11, but when Josh Walker comes on and scores two goals like that, it's two fingers up at me for not picking him. And I love all that. I love all that. That's what it needs. Charlie Adams as well. You know, I've left him out, having played really well against Bournemouth. Don't want to look me in the eye because he's probably hating me at the minute, but he come on for five minutes at the end, put his body on the line and played the ball that, that got the third goal. And all I keep saying to him is, need everyone, need everyone. It's going to be disappointment if you're not in the team along the way. But I've got a lot of people that want to play every week. So, brilliant. That's what I'm looking forward to. So that must be such a positive for you to have that morale within the squad where everyone wants to be out on that pitch playing. And so they should. We're in a, we're in a good run. And, you know, the, the change room's in, uh, a real tight-knit group. And they all want to play. And, listen, I, I got left out a million times. And it's, it's horrible being left out of a team that's going well. But when you get your moments, you need to take them. And... You know, like I say, credit to Charlie, Walks and Efron when he come on. Changed our shape at half time to make sure we was a bit more solid down the sides. And listen, it's a great night for us. I'm delighted for everyone and, and the fans and oh, it's just brilliant. I love nights like this. You've already mentioned the performance of Josh Walker, but in that situation, how difficult is it to come into the game and impact the game in the way that he did? I don't know that it's difficult. You just got to you got to seize the moment, haven't you? At the end of the day, and he's he's done brilliant to to get himself two terrific goals. And listen, he's he's a young man who's new at this level, but he's he's fantastic in front of goal. Um, and that's now 14 for the season for him. Um, so I'm really pleased for him. I'm, I'm, it's unfortunate how his chance come about. You know, Simeon's damaged his hamstring. I don't know how serious just yet. Um, but, you know, when I've got, I, I've said all along, I'm happy with my squad. So, door shuts for one and it opens for another. This win must feel that much bigger given it is one of those game in, games in hand and takes us closer to those playoff places. Yeah, it's pleasing. It's only give us three points. I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon at the minute. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll calm down and, and have a chat on the bus on the way home and regroup and reset ourselves to go again. But... What we've always spoke about is making the games in hand count and we've done that on this occasion tonight and it's pleasing that we've turned um, a recent run of draws into a victory on the back of a long journey on Saturday. So it's important we get our preparation right because we've got another long journey on this Saturday coming. And the fans have been rewarded with not only a massive result but a, a big performance from the team. Listen, they're hopefully enjoying what they're seeing at the moment and we're enjoying him playing, playing in front of them. And there's the togetherness that I've been thinking about from day one and moments like tonight where without getting carried away, we've taken three points. It's a wonderful performance. Everyone goes happy, home happy again and we look forward and move on to the next one.